Hi, welcome back to Rorick Knows Podcast, helping you become a better and more informed you. I am so proud of the fact that I have so many subscribers, over 10,000, and I really appreciate all your thoughts and comments. That really helps to uh, educate me on what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to hear next. And in fact, this is a topic that something that I've thought about a lot, and it's been in the news. It's methylene blue. What is methylene blue, and is it truly a cure, or is it a dangerous trend? And how do we get to talking about methylene blue? So let's explore the hype, the facts, and the risks of methylene blue. And really, the internet exploded when uh, RFK Jr., who's now the you know, secretary of HSS, was seen adding a blue liquid to his drink on a plane. And of course, this sparked all kinds of information or misinformation about um, methylene blue. So let's unravel what methylene blue is. And here it is where he basically is putting something into his drink, whether it's a dropper or is it methylene blue, who knows. But these have been now extrapolated to social media, celebrities and biohackers and saying, wow, methylene blue is this miracle drug to fight cancer, aging, and cure COVID-19. I mean, of course, you know, it's gone way over, over and beyond the rails. So, so what are the proposed benefits, uh, you know, like boosting energy, memory, and anti-aging? But really, is this true? Well, what is methylene blue? It's a synthetic dye that was created over 150 years ago. And originally was used for fabrics and later found to have medicinal use in treating blood disorders and poisonings. What it does do, it helps your blood carry oxygen more efficiently during emergencies. And it's also used to visualize tissue during surgery, which is something we do not uncommonly in, in plastic surgery to see what the viability of flaps are. So that's a very important thing to do. So how does it work? Just think of it like a battery booster. It helps the cells produce energy more efficiently, especially when something's wrong. So in medical settings, it can be life-saving for conditions like methohemoglobinemia and poisonings. So these are very uncommon uh, conditions, but it actually helps to increase oxygenation when you have these type of conditions. So its approved use is really in, in treating uh, you know, methoglobinemia, counteracting cyanide and, and carbon monoxide poisoning, and then visualization during surgeries, but all under strict medical supervision. That's the key. So uh, when treating these types of conditions and certain poisonings and envisioning in, in visual, visualizing tissues, it's safe and it's very powerful to use. But beyond that, I think it's a stretch. FDA approved for the treatment of acquired methmoglobinemia in both pediatrics and adult patients. So that's a very specific problem, okay? But the problem is you shouldn't just take it and use it for other reasons, you know, like boosting energy or anti-aging. You know, it's like using a fire extinguisher to wash your car. It's completely off label and really potentially harmful. It includes Dangerous interactions causing serotonin syndrome. High doses can cause nausea, um, high blood pressure, blood cell damage. So don't do crazy stuff. So the key is you shouldn't take it just willy-nilly. And it's not been shown you know, to be an anti-aging agent or, or anything like that. It's got very specific indications, like I mentioned. So you can really, really do harm for it. And yet you can see it. Uh, online and TikTok, you can buy it, and you can say, oh, well, if you only use a droplet, then it'll really you know, increase your energy. I think that's very, very, very foolish to do. So know before you go, it's a very powerful medical tool in those indications I mentioned. So be very careful when, when you're looking at social media fads, because its use without medical guidance can be very risky. So always consult your healthcare professional. So I don't know what RFK Jr. was putting into his dropper on that plane, but certainly you shouldn't be using it in a very carefree fashion. So know before you go. So please
please give me your comments, give me your thoughts on what you think um, of this segment, but also is methylene blue very safe? And I would say be careful, be cautious, and be safe. So until next time, know before you go, and always stay smart and stay informed.